Mm. One time I posted on my Instagram, um, I was so curious, so I asked people, like, why don't you travel? Like, mm -hmm. tell me why. Like, why don't you travel Uganda? And some of the responses I got were so eye-opening. I remember someone was like, I'd honestly love to see Uganda, I'd love to see the beauty in this country, but I'm scared of dying. The accidents on the roads are just too many. <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty, though. I know. I was like, what? So, like, that's a concern? It is. Wow. Yeah, for some people. I mean, I'd never really looked at it that way. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, and it could be valid, you know. So I think it's a lot to do with just, like, reassuring people, like, people need to feel safe. We need mm -hmm. to have a good infrastructure. And then marketing. You can have something really good, but if you don't tell people about it, mm -hmm. how will they know? So we need to market us as Ugandans. We need to, like, tell people about Uganda. When we travel to other places, we should be able to talk about our our yeah. home you yeah. know like you're having a conversation with people who are not uganda and you should be able to tell them about the beautiful land that you hail from yeah. so so yeah i think everyone every uganda needs to to market uganda visit okay. uganda and market it okay yeah so you started you know blogging and then yeah. Well, when you need the content, you're like, oh, I have to find exactly. more. <laughs> exactly. And it's I like this monster that's like, feed me. Feed oh, me. my God. That's exactly what it is. And then I'm like, I need to find more, but I also need to do more. Like, I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, and I've always been like very shy and timid, like growing up. Okay. That's the kind of person that I mm -hmm. was. You said you were goody two shoes. I was a good, like, I was very, like, I was those girls that are very focused in school. It's, oh, I came here to study. I didn't come here to do anything else. Don't bring your nonsense to me. That's the kind of girl that I was in school, <laughs> okay. right? And so I was very like in this, I don't know, in a shell in some way. Mm. And travel has taught me to like do the things that I'm afraid of. I was always like, I actually talk about this a, a bit in the book that I would like, I was scared of so many things. Like I remember we had dogs at home growing up. Mm -hmm. We always had like two dogs, Buck and Growler passed away. Okay. Rest in peace. <laughs> but like... <laughs> I was so scared of the dogs. Like, mm -hmm. they knew us. I mean, I lived with them, but I was so scared of the dogs. Every time I'd come back home, I would ask the, the security, like, Ascari, like, please hold the dogs. And then I'd rush to the house. Like, I was like a prisoner in my own home. Then once Aww. the dogs are out, I don't want to come out. Like, I was so scared of dogs. Like, now when I think about it, I'm like, that's so ridiculous. But anyway, my point is, I was scared of so many things. Mm. But because of blogging and travel, I, it allowed me to push myself to okay. do things that I would ordinarily be afraid of. Mm -hmm. So I was afraid of heights, but then I went bungee jumping, you know. But if I didn't have to blog about it, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> I'd have been like, for what? <laughs> like, why am I going to jump off, like, a like for what purpose? I know some people are like, <laughs> no way, no way. So I'm just in the air, like, ah, uh -huh. no. And then what? <laughs> you know, that, that would have been me back in mm, the day. Yeah. But now I find myself, I'm like, you know what, like, give it a try. You know, like, you go see what it feels like. You go exactly. Rafting. And it's always, the fear is always before. Mm -hmm. Like, when you're actually doing it, it's not scary. Yeah. It's scary to do it, like, and to then, think of doing it. And then after, there's this rush. Oh, my God. Of like, it, it's accomplishment. truly, truly, like, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. It's like an accomplishment. Yes. It's like, oh my God, I was scared of this, but I did it. And mm -hmm. it was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was thrilling. That day I did bungee jump, I remember like, I was so elated the whole day. Like, mm -hmm. my heart was <laughs> beating faster. Like, even as we drove back to where we were staying, mm -hmm. it was so exciting. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, like, what was I afraid of, mm -hmm. you know? So travel does, like, uh, get me to um, push out of my comfort zone. Yeah. And I find that that translates even to other areas yeah. in life, yeah. you know? So I feel like, okay, you know what? I can leave my nine to five and I'll be okay, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. So. so when you said, like, you ask people why they don't travel, I would imagine, I've heard this before, yeah. that people would say, you know, because you have to travel with other people. Because I know uh -huh. for a lot of people, that is a challenge. Yes. They don't want to travel alone. Yeah. They always yeah. want to go either as a group or with a I partner know. or with their family. Mm -hmm. And sometimes finances for everybody are not going to work out at the Let same time. Let me tell time. you, if you're waiting for someone else to travel with you, you mm. might never go to some of the places that you want to go to. Yes. Like, just like... So yeah. when you travel alone, people say, ah, yeah. how can you go there by yourself? Oh my God, so rewarding. But then you get to, there's something very powerful about being by yourself because, you know, you, you rediscover yourself, you get mm -hmm. comfortable being alone. Exactly. Yeah, so. But I'll tell you the truth, I was terrified. I remember, so um, through my blogging work, some of what I do is many times I reach out to lodges and I, I um, I get to go to different places and write about them yeah, on yeah. the blog, right? Mm -hmm. 
So many times, like every time I'd get a, a gig at a lodge, I'd always be like, oh, I need to, can I come with a friend who's going to help me take the picture? So yeah. I'd always go with someone. Yeah. Like, I was just scared. And I was scared of traveling alone. I was also scared of, okay, will I be able to do it? Who's going to help me with the pictures? Who's going to help me with this? Mm -hmm. Like, I need some help. That's yeah. what I thought. Yes. And then I remember this one trip, I was really excited to go to this place. Mm -hmm. And um, I was supposed to travel with my friend Karen, like I told you, she's also, she's also a blogger. And she fell sick that morning. Oh. She couldn't come. Okay. And I was like, oh my God, like, I'm like, but surely I can't fail to get someone who wants like a free trip for the weekend. I remember calling my friends and everyone was busy. Like I couldn't find anyone and I had to go. I couldn't turn it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. I learned to be independent. So I like I carried my tripod. So now when I travel, I'm very comfortable traveling alone. I'll go with my tripod. I'll set it up. I even realize there's so much freedom when you do that because mm -hmm. when someone else is taking your pictures, yeah. There's a way in which, um, one, you don't want to waste their time. So you're yes. kind of just like, oh yeah, let me take a quick picture. And then, but <laughs> when you have like your tripod and you're in control of the pictures, like you can take your time. You can take like 50,000 shots until you get the one that you want. <laughs> like it was so liberating. <laughs> like I'm not like, I don't have to worry about someone else. Yeah. You do what you want. Like if you feel like swimming the whole day, guess what? Mm. You swim the whole day. Yeah. You don't have to like consult and be like, okay guys, let's swim. And then maybe someone wants to do something else that you are not interested in. Mm. But because you're together, you know, you go along with it. So I feel like it's liberating in so many ways. You get to do exactly what you want, when you want. Mm -hmm. And then you get to interact with different people. Yeah. You get to spend time. Because when you're with your people, chances are you're going to just yeah. be yeah. by yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're by yourselves. You're you're talking to each other, you stick to each other, we tend to do that. But when you're alone, I feel like you see so much more. Mm -hmm. Like you, you see what you wouldn't have seen when you're like with your group of friends. So yeah. I'm going to report her for a second. <laughs> She's saying earlier that she likes to people watch. <laughs> yes. I do too. I do too. Oh my God. Because that also happens. <laughs> it's so fascinating. Because I've always loved yeah. going out by myself. Yeah. I used to go for movies by myself and to yeah. the cinema. And people would be like, how can you go by yeah. yourself? I'm like, but I'm watching the movie me as me. Yeah. Travel taught me that. Or going out for lunch. I still do. Go out yeah. for lunch, dinner by myself. Yeah. And yeah. somehow part of it yeah. is that you end up people watching. But it's yeah. fascinating. It is. Because you become so observant as and well. And you know what, Crystal, you also get to just really, like, truly enjoy your own company. Mm. There's something about discovering that, like, realizing that I actually like hanging out with me. <laughs> like, I'm a cool person to be around yeah. <laughs> in some sort of way. So, yeah, I do. And and now I'm, I'm not afraid of that type of thing. Like you mm -hmm. said, I'll, I'll go for dinner by myself. I'll watch a movie by myself. I'm very comfortable. You know, my, my tank top says travel is my therapy. <laughs> yes, yeah? yes, yes, yes. It is therapeutic in many ways. Like okay. you just really get to clear your mind in that sense, mm -hmm. and um, there's a lot that comes from that. Like whether it's clarity or like just um, just erasing like the noise, you know, and and just having that time like with yourself, mm. with yourself. Yeah. Okay, that's feeding your powerful. spirit in some way. Yeah. yeah feeding your spirit is <laughs> so powerful, powerful now. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. you you were blogging about your experiences. Yeah, yeah. you were doing well, reaching out because I've seen you've reached out to a lot of different yes. places. Yeah, and I mean, people are discovering. That's the beauty of. I always say the internet is such a blessing because so you discover things that you would never have known about yeah. before. Yeah. But then, when did you decide to actually say, okay, I'm going to do a book, an ebook uh -huh. for the record? Yes. <laughs> So, I so we can't go to a bookstore <laughs> and buy it. Yes, it's an ebook. It's it's only available online. Mm. It's a quick read. That's why mm -hmm. I thought you know I would publish it as an ebook. I know sometimes some people want like a physical copy of mm -hmm. a book. I mm -hmm. have had some people tell me that, but. Um, it's just about like 24 pages on Kindle. So you can read it in one sitting as you're like in a queue somewhere at the bank or whatever, you can read it really quickly. Mm -hmm. And I think digital books like give us that option, yeah. you know. Did like someone encourage convenient. you to do it or? Um, I'd always thought about it, but I think I just kept like procrastinating because I remember like at the beginning of last year, I was like, I should write a book. I was doing actually a program, like a leadership program mm -hmm. that's organized by the church I go to worship harvest called the program is called harvest institute okay. and one of the requirements was that because it's about leadership and how uh, they define leadership is influence and one of the requirements was we were supposed to write a book
that. But then I just kept procrastinating. And But even before I joined, it's something I'd always wanted to do, but I kept procrastinating. Mm. I kept thinking, okay, maybe I haven't yet done enough to write a book, you mm. know, like those voices inside your head. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. no, first wait, maybe you need to like experience a bit more, then you will write. But then I'd started on it and I just had this like manuscript that had been on my laptop for so long. Okay. And then one day I just said, you know what, Faith, like get this done, like just put it out there. Mm -hmm. And so um, about like a month ago, I just decided, you know what, this thing is, is going out. Like I'm finishing it and it's going out. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and I just got it done. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's about your experiences. Is it what you learned about yeah. travel being your therapy? Yeah. So th the book is called The Huchenda Guide and it's insights into why you should travel and live your best life today mm -hmm. so it's really just about why mm -hmm. i travel so some of the like the benefits i've been uh, telling you about like discovering who you are like conquering your fears mm -hmm. and then the how you can travel like just tips that i've picked up along the way like these two years that i've been vlogging mm -hmm. and why i also say live your best life is because for me travel like it's not just travel like everything that i have benefited from travel has translated into my life in general so if um let's say i was afraid of heights Mm -hmm. and I'm able to conquer that fear through traveling. Mm -hmm. That also translates to me um, not being afraid of, let's say, starting a new business okay. or whatever it is. So, mm -hmm. <coughs> sorry, I feel like the benefits from travel, like really, like it's, it's more than just in the travel, like it translates and it allows you to just really live life to the full. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about, like living life to the full, experiencing more from life, and just making the most of our time here mm. on earth. Okay. Yeah. Now I find like you're talking about uh, the power of being able to influence others. Yeah. And it to me it always comes up so surprising. Mm. The simple things that I mean, I might be cooking and I mm -hmm. try new recipes and then mm -hmm. people send me pictures and say, "Oh, we use your recipe. We try oh, this." Way, I love your like your cooking. Just <laughs> to speak like I've, I've seen your pictures and everything and I'm like, "Oh, uh, go." So no, thank one day you. I'll be thank like, you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. but, uh, why I was asking that is mm -hmm. like, have you also seen that like translated in in like your friends mm -hmm. and your family that they actually pick up from you and they also yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so much like <coughs> um, friends and family, even just random people who I've never met, like will DM me or send me a message or an email and be like, oh my God, I really love how much you travel in Uganda. Oh, I saw your trip to Lake Bunyoni and I went there last weekend with my friends and I had so much fun. Thank yeah. you for inspiring me. And like, those are the things that mean so much. Mm -hmm. By the way, people like always give feedback to like bloggers and people out there because that's what like really keeps us going. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we're not just doing it to show you like, oh, I went here, I went here, I went here. But mm -hmm. we want you to also like, um, be inspired like I don't know somehow pick something that you can apply to your own life as mm. well so I do get like feedback like that where people especially with Uganda like mm -hmm. a lot of people are like I didn't know actually so many times people are like are you sure that's in Uganda <laughs> Thank where you. is that? Mm -hmm. Where is that? And I'm like, it's in Uganda. It's like right next door. I can't, door. Be, I can't, I can't believe that's Uganda. Like mm -hmm. someone's like, are you in China? Like where are you? And I'm like, I'm in Uganda. So that mm -hmm. gives me so much joy, like mm -hmm. to get people to really see and be encouraged. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now your first ebook is out there. Yeah. That's very exciting Thank for you. you. Yeah. Do you see yourself doing more in the future? Yes. That's... I want to write more for sure. Mm -hmm. I want to. I do enjoy writing, like actually that's how the blog started because I was like, I really enjoy traveling and I actually enjoy writing, but I don't really do it as much. Mm -hmm. I remember mentioning to you that I, I loved English and literature in, in O level mm -hmm. and I used to write these like, um, we used to write English compositions and I remember like, I was always like the like the best, like I was like a teacher's pet in English. <laughs> I remember Mr. Chibazo, hey, but I used to like really love writing and then I just stopped, mm. you know, like. I just stopped. I went to university, I'm studying marketing, I'm working, and I would never write, I'd never journal, I'd never do anything, and yet I really used to enjoy it. Yeah. And so that's how like the two came together. I'm like, I really love traveling, like let me write about my travels. Mm -hmm. So I do see myself writing more, I want to continue doing that, like continue getting better at that. Mm -hmm. I also want to do more video content, it's something I haven't explored that much. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I want to do more like video documentation as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay, well, thank you so much oh for God. coming on the show. Thank you for, for sharing your passion and how it's 
changing your life. It is. Really yes. exciting times for mm -hmm. you. So your last like piece of advice to people, I know if they mm -hmm. read your book, um, yeah. definitely there's a lot there. Yeah. But just, you know, for people to just push themselves or to go out. Yeah, I would say just do. You know, many times we want to have everything figured out before mm -hmm. we start. Mm -hmm. Like even like starting my blog, I told you I didn't know anything about it, but I started. And then once you start, you're forced <laughs> to get the information and to learn. So there's this thing I like, it says ready, fire, aim. Ready, fire, aim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of ready, aim, then fire. Like, yeah. just go. Okay. Go and then figure it out, you mm -hmm. know, like what, and I'm not just talking about travel, like whatever it is that you're passionate about, whatever it is you really want to do with your life, mm -hmm. like just do it, just start. And then you'll figure out the rest later, mm -hmm. you know. And it's and it's only scary before, but once you've done it, it's it's not scary. So feel the fear, but do it anyway. Mm. Yeah, okay. that's what I would say. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Crystal. Yeah, keep showing fun. us Uganda because I oh, will. My God. I we will. are blessed. Yes, we are blessed. We have so much, and I can't wait. Like people tell me, man, Faye, you've really travelled, and I'm like. There's so many places I haven't been to. I still have so many places in Uganda that you that, barely that, even scratch the I, surface. I just like barely. So I really want to go. So I'm, I'm excited to share more, mm -hmm. and I hope that people will be inspired to see our country and market our country and really appreciate it yeah. and, and travel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>